Hey everyone, welcome back to the Second Hand Club. Today, we are responding to some questions we receive from either our comments on our YouTube videos or on Instagram. And today's topic is Rolex. So let's get into it. First of all, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, I'd appreciate it if you take the time to subscribe. It's free and it means a lot to me. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram and visit our website, thesecondhandclub.com, where you can buy your watches at the best guaranteed current market value uh, price. Uh, we update the prices every week so uh, you can stay confident we can beat any competitor's price. Let's start with uh, the first question. What makes uh, Rolex watches so special? Rolex watches have a lot uh, going for them, starting with the rich history. Uh, the brand uh, was founded in 1905 and has been a trailblazer in the watch industry ever since. They were the first to achieve many uh, milestones, like receiving a chronometer certification, creating the first waterproof uh, watch, and developing an automatic date-changing mechanism. This history of innovation is a big part of what makes Rolex stand out. Uh, then there is the craftsmanship. Rolex is known for its meticulous attention to detail. Every watch is made with uh, high quality materials like 904L stainless steel, gold and platinum. The amount of work and precision that goes into making each watch is very impressive. It's not just about the materials, it's about the care and expertise that goes uh, into uh, crafting each timepiece. Lastly, there uh, is the prestige. Owning a Rolex is often seen as a symbol of success and sophistication. It's a brand that uh, is recognized everywhere and respected worldwide, which adds to uh, the allure of owning one. But beyond uh, the status symbol, it's also about appreciating the art and engineering that goes into these watches. Question number two, why are Rolex watches so expensive. The high price of uh, Rolex uh, watches is something a lot of people wonder about. Uh, there are a few uh, reasons behind it. First, uh, the materials, like I said earlier, Rolex uses a top-notch material like the 904L stainless steel, which is more durable and resistant to corrosion than uh, the standard steel used in most other uh, watches and uh, what brands are actually using. Um, they also use precious metal like gold and platinum and put special alloy to make them look specifically to the Rolex uh, look. Another reason is the in-house movements. Rolex designs and builds their own movement, which are known for their accuracy and reliability. Uh, these movements go through rigorous uh, testing to meet Rolex's high standards. This level of uh, quality and precision doesn't uh, come cheap. The production process also plays a big role. Many parts of a Rolex watch are handcrafted, which requires a lot of uh, skilled labor. Plus, Rolex invests heavily in research and development to stay at the cutting edge of watchmaking. All these uh, factors contribute to uh, the overall uh, cost. Uh, lastly, there is also the brand's uh, reputation. Rolex has built a name for itself over more than a century. Uh, the combination of quality, innovation, and prestige means that uh, people are willing to pay a premium for a Rolex timepiece. Question three, what are the most popular uh, Rolex models? Rolex has a few uh, models that are incredibly popular compared to other brands that generally have one uh, racing horse. Rolex is lucky to have a few. The Submariner is probably the most famous. It's a robust uh, dive watch that's known for its durability and classic design. It's been a favorite amongst uh, divers and watch enthusiasts for decades. Then there is uh, the Daytona, which is a big hit with uh, collectors and uh, racing fans. It's a chronograph watch that was uh, designed for uh, racing drivers and its association with one famous uh, pilot, you will guess, Paul Newman. Uh, it has only added to uh, its appeal. The Datejust is another very uh, popular uh, model. It's a versatile uh, dress uh, watch that's known for its elegant design and practicality. It's a great all-rounder that appeals to a wide range of people. Other popular uh, models include the GMT uh, Master II, uh, the Daydate, and the Explorer. Each of uh, these watches has its own unique uh, story and uh, features, which makes them appealing uh, to different types of collectors and watch enthusiasts. Question four, how often should you uh, service a Rolex? 
Servicing your Rolex is uh, important to keep it uh, running smoothly. Rolex uh, recommends getting uh, your watch serviced every 10 years or so, but this can vary uh, depending on how you use it. Uh, if you wear uh, your watch daily or expose it to tough conditions, you might need to service it uh, more often. During a service, a Rolex watch is completely uh, taken uh, apart, cleaned and inspected. Any uh, worn or damaged uh, parts are replaced and the movement is uh, finely tuned to ensure it's keeping uh, accurate time. The case and uh, the bracelets are also uh, polished to bring back the original shine. Regular servicing helps uh, keep your watch in good condition and can prevent bigger issues down the line. It's always best to take your Rolex to an authorized uh, service center where it will be handled by uh, trained professionals. Question 5. Is it worth buying a Rolex as an investment? Many uh, people look at Rolex watches as investment and uh, for good reason. Certain models, uh, especially limited editions or those with unique features or dials, tend to uh, increase in value over time. Watches like the Daytona, the Submariner, and the GMT Master II often see the prices go up on the secondary market. But investing in watches isn't a guaranteed way uh, to make money. The market can be unpredictable, we've seen it in the last uh, few years, and it's important to do your research and buy smartly. That's why at the Second Hand Club, we update our prices weekly so you can uh, be sure to buy your watch at the best current market value price. We are sure to uh, be more competitive than any of our uh, competitors. Important also, focus on models that are in good condition, come with their original papers and uh, box, and have a solid history. At the end of the day, the best reason to buy a Rolex is because you love it. If you enjoy wearing uh, the watch and appreciate the craftsmanship, uh, any increase in value is just a nice bonus. Question 6. What should you consider when buying your first Rolex? Well, uh, buying your first Rolex is a big decision, and there are a few things you should consider. First, think about your personal style and how you plan to use uh, the watch. Are you looking for something dressy, uh, sporty, or versatile enough for uh, everyday wear? Budget, of course, is another uh, important factor. Rolex watches can range for um, a few thousand dollars to tens of uh, thousands uh, of dollars, so it's good to have a clear idea of what you're willing to spend. Remember uh, to factor in the potential cost of uh, servicing and uh, maintenance uh, too, and ensuring your timepiece. Do your research on uh, different uh, models. Each Rolex uh, has its own features and history, and finding out what appeals to you can help uh, you narrow down your choices. That's it for today's uh, Rolex Q&A. I hope you found these answers helpful. If you have any more questions about uh, Rolex or any other watch-related uh, topics, uh, drop them in the comments down below. Once we have enough questions, we will uh, make a video. If you enjoyed this uh, kind of video, as I said earlier, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow, and it means a lot to me. And uh, as always, visit our website, thesecondhandclub.com, uh, for some great watches at the best guaranteed current market prices. Uh, have a great day and see you in the next episode.